I didn't think we'd get to this point. Originally, when I posted my first video pertaining to Kyler Murray, scrubbing his entire social media account of everything that pertained to the Arizona Cardinals, there were some comments that were suggesting that I was making a big deal out of nothing. And the only reason I even made that video was because some of my followers tagged me on Instagram asking for it. But now it's gotten even worse. The ownership of the Arizona Cardinals are angry and they're even voicing their own frustrations with Kyler Murray. Things are getting to a level that I didn't think we'd get to. And we have all of it compiled in a nice video for you guys to enjoy. And by the end of this video, you'll be caught up to speed on everything that is going on with this bizarre situation. But before we get to the content, we're giving away $500 to a subscriber that turns on our notifications on this channel. We're also giving away $500 to a follower on Instagram. Now that we get all that out of the way, break. Mike check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? In our previous video, we covered Kyler Murray's teammates reacting to the entire saga pertaining to him scrubbing his social media of everything that pertained to the Arizona Cardinals. And ultimately, Larry Fitzgerald said, I just hope everything works out the way that both sides wanted to work out. DeAndre Hopkins predicted that maybe it had something to do with the Arizona Cardinals brand new jerseys. And Ian Rappaport gave us an update saying that he's kind of dis distanced himself from everything. There's basically just two pictures on his Instagram and the season didn't end like the way he wanted. So we know he's up for a contract extension in the off season. Everyone's frustrated in Arizona about how it all transpired. They had a lot of promise during the season. And as a result, everyone's just pissed off. And it seems like there's a little bit further elaboration on that situation because apparently this is how things are going from Kyler Murray. According to Chris Mortensen, Kyler Murray feels like he's being made the scapegoat for Arizona's playoff loss. While the Cardinals worry that Kyler Murray is self-centered and immature. This is an absolute bombshell of a report, but it's consistent with other reports that we are also reading. So let's jump into this report and see what it has to say, because this report says some really wild stuff. For example, Arizona coach Cliff Kingsbury is said to be self-scouting where he can provide better alternatives to help Kyler Murray. Meanwhile, select veterans on the team hope to reach out to Murray on how the 24 year old can better handle adversity. So Kyler Murray feels like everyone is blaming him for the fact that the Cardinals had a very premature ending to their regular season. And as a result, I guess he scrubbed everything that pertains to the Arizona Cardinals off of his social media. This is where it gets even crazier. Apparently, according to NFL.com, the Cardinals want Kyler Murray to take a step forward in leadership and maturity. According to Mike Garofalo, he said on Super Bowl Sunday that I do know that they're looking for Kyler Murray to take a step forward in a number of areas. We're talking about maturity, body language on the sideline, having a bigger voice with his teammates and leadership. Garofalo added that several members of the club were not pleased that Murray did not finish out Arizona's super wildcard weekend defeat to the Los Angeles Rams in which Murray threw two picks and the Cardinals lost by 23 points. Murray was not on the field for the final two snaps of the game, seeding quarterback snaps to Colt McCoy. Now this is insane. I didn't think that it got to this point where as a result of a very promising season for the Arizona Cardinals and for them falling short of their expectations that Kyler Murray was taking to his social media to scrub everything that pertained to the Arizona Cardinals in regards to them. This reminds me of a similar story that went down in the NBA and that's the saga of Ben Simmons. For those of you guys that don't follow basketball, Ben Simmons was a former number one overall pick last year in the Eastern Conference semifinals. He had a horrible performance on a playoff stage. He, they got knocked out by the Atlanta Hawks, who they were favored to beat. And as a result, Ben Simmons was thrown under the bus by his head coaches and even had teammates being a little passive aggressive towards him. And it seems like a very similar thing is happening here in regards to Kyler Murray. Now, it's important to note that this isn't the first time the Arizona Cardinals were under the microscope for controversy. There was a rumor that came out about a month 
month ago on January 21st that there was this very tense meeting between the owner, Michael Bidwell, general manager, Steve Keim, and head coach, Cliff Kingsbury. And according to Kyle Odengard of the Seven Star Digital, shit hit the fan. Bidwell was unhappy with the team's late season slide and intimated changes were possible. Now, obviously we didn't make much of this because Ian Rappaport reported that there has been no meeting according to his sources. And in the world of NFL news, if Ian Rappaport or Adam Schefter come in and say something's BS, then we trust that it's BS. But, and in this situation, it seems like the Arizona Cardinals are doing something very similar. It seems like they want to slow down this potential circus and they even put out a statement in regards to it saying, nothing has changed regarding our opinion and high regard for Kyler Murray. We as a team and Kyler individually have improved each year that he's been in the league. We are excited to continue that improvement in 2022 and are excited that Kyler Murray is the quarterback leading us. So originally I thought that this was all as a result of Kyler Murray just wanting a better contract, but it seems like Kyler is actually really upset at the Arizona Cardinals because he is being scapegoated for the fact that the Cardinals lost in a very ugly way during Super Wild Card Weekend after being the top team in their division for the majority of the season. Here's the thing, man. I actually have to agree with the Arizona Cardinals on this because I understand people are being hard on Kyler Murray, but here's the thing, buddy. When you get paid or you're about to get paid anywhere around $40 million a year to lead your team, first of all, the reason you're getting paid such an amount is because you are the face of this franchise. When I think Arizona Cardinals, I don't think DeAndre Hopkins. I don't think Chase Edmonds or James Conner. I don't even think Buda Baker, JJ Watt, or Chandler Jones. I think of Kyler Murray and a little bit of Cliff Kingsbury. Now, I'm not saying that he has no right to be mentally distraught as a result of an underachieving performance because that's what it is to be a quarterback. But I don't think this is an appropriate reaction because there's not going to be a single team that you could go to that isn't going to give you adversity to deal with as the quarterback of a NFL team. I mean, hell man, look at Tom Brady. This man was winning Super Bowls and out of nowhere, the NFL seemed to have targeted him for Deflategate. We have a whole separate video on Deflategate, but throughout his career, he had to deal with stuff like Spygate, Deflategate. Latter part of his career, he had to deal with Antonio Brown. He also had to deal with his head coach, not necessarily believing in him and his ability to play into his mid forties, which to be honest, is kind of a normal thing to not believe in, but Tom Brady's Tom Brady. So I do see the Cardinal side. If you want to be the face of a franchise, you need to act like a face of a franchise. You need to hold yourself accountable. Even if it isn't your fault for the reason why the team lost at the end of the day, a quarterback that takes the stage in an interview and says, Hey, it's my fault that we lost. Even if they had a perfect game tend to be the quarterbacks that players respect and want to play for. But at the same time, man, Kyler Murray, he's just 24 years old. These are the things that you have to learn going throughout your career. And these are the things that make or break you. At the end of the day, man, everyone has bad performances. I don't necessarily think that it warrants scrubbing your social media of the team that drafted you number one overall. And that wants to pay you almost $40 million when your contract expires. At the end of the day, the Cardinals did a wonderful job putting a team around Kyler Murray. So hopefully these two sides could reconcile because I can't see a world where Kyler Murray says, that's it, I'm mad, trade me. Because there's no better situation for him than the Arizona Cardinals. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about all this, man. Aside from that, I'm your boy, Mike, and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.